Tackle Junkies, what's going on guys? Coming at you guys today with an MTB Pro unboxing. And just like the last uh, couple months, we'll go over all the different rigging options or which gear I would use for each bait in the box. But it's already opened up. I was pretty pumped to open this box up as soon as I got it. Actually, as soon as I pulled it out of the mailbox, I opened it up. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've seen a bunch of you guys posting uh, pictures of things that you've got in the Pro Box. And um, I did end up getting what I wanted in this box, so I'm pretty happy about that. So let's get right into it. First up, we have, right on top of the bait that I was hoping for, the Double Plopper by River to Sea. This goes for $17.84. Color is uh, Delta Craw. Let's see here, any more specs on here. 5 eighths of an ounce five and three quarters of an inch and it's a floating buzz bait which is pretty cool obviously if you uh, standard buzz bait you reel them you stop reeling they sink this one floats so pretty cool there it is there in the package so you're reeling it along you come across some stumps or something something like that you can stop the bait let it sit hopefully you'll get you'll get hit if not start reeling it again so pretty cool that you can actually stop it and I love the color here it's a color that I use a lot on the, uh, the lakes that I fish. I've made a couple uh, Tackle House orders the last, I don't know, month or so, and I've had this on my list each time, and I forget to order it, you know, all the time, so uh, pretty pumped to get this here in the box. There it is there. A couple of the floats there. Just like the tail on the, uh, the Whopper Plopper there. Pretty slick. Nice big hook on there. We got a uh, plastic keeper as well. If you want to put a trailer on there, but I am pumped to try this thing out. I'll definitely be picking up some other colors as well. I like to get a shad color, and this would have been another color here on my list as well. So, pretty cool. As far as gear, I would throw this on five eighths of an ounce. I would throw this on a heavy power rod with a sense of moving bait. I would use a moderate fast action, probably that. Um, it's a, uh, the Akuma TCS, it's a worm jig rod, but it's got that moderate action to it. That's what I would use to uh, toss this bait here. Uh, anywhere from a six to seven speed reel, probably like a seven three, and I would use a 50 pound braid for that. All right, next up we have the uh, suspending jerkbait JLD2. This is from Baker's Lures, good looking color there. This goes for $8.99. Good looking jerk bait this time of year. Good for jerk baits if you're not if you're not froze. Uh, springtime good for jerk baits. Fall time there it is there. So we got any rattles? We do. Very cool. You guys know I'm a fan of the rattles. Good looking color. Will work well for me. Blue back. Kind of like uh, kind of like a silverish pearl color. That will work well for me definitely. As far as jerk baits go, uh, pretty much the same run I use for top water. I use for jerk baits as well. I like uh, either a 6.6 to like a 6.8, 6.10, somewhere in that range. I don't want it too long as I'm using like a, a downward motion to work the bait. If it's too long, I'll let them smack in the water. So just like my top waters, I like that shorter rod. Anywhere from like a 6.6 to uh, you know 6.10. Uh, let's see here. Was there a weight on this? I don't believe I've seen a weight. Uh, let's see here. Three and a quarter inches, a third of an ounce. I probably use... Uh, probably like a medium power rod with a moderate action to it. Anywhere from, I'm going to say, probably, depending on how de deep I want it to go, anywhere from like 8 to 12 pound test, I'd go with the fluorocarbon, probably. It's a lighter bait. The way uh, smaller diameter, I'd probably get a little bit uh, more distance on If I'm wanting to keep it shallower, I'll stick with the mono. But just like I mentioned on my video, uh, which line I would use, I just put that video out last week. I'll link that video down in the description. But, um, being a lighter bait, I would probably go uh, floor carbon. But um, like I said, if I wanted to stay shallower, I would go with a mono. Again, anywhere from 8 to uh, 12 pound test. And since I'm using the rod to work the bait, I would use like a 7 speed reel. You can get away with a 6. I'd probably use like a 7.3. So that goes for 9 bucks. Next we have the Nicholas Lures Mojo Spin or Spoon. This goes for $6.99. So there it is there in the package. Let's see here, half ounce, 
Good looking spoon. I really don't own too many spoons. I don't think I only have a couple of these. I don't fish too deep. And uh, from what I know about spoons, it's more of a, a deep water deal. Now, there's a couple spots that I know uh, I'd like to try a spoon on. We got a couple bridges on the lakes that I fish, you know, around the bridge pilings, things like that. I do, I do know of a couple brush piles that are fairly deep, you know, 13, 16 foot or so, which I could uh, jig this around those. So we'll try that out. Chrome, imitates a, a shad, so that works well for me as well. Plenty of shad in our lakes. We got swivel up here, prevent some line twist. Probably uh, could be a size two treble hook on there. For a spoon, half ounce, I would use. Uh, let's see here. I mean, you're it could go either way. Since you're jerking it off the bottom, maybe if you're around any type of vegetation, things like that, you may want a faster action rod just to be able to rip it out of the grass. But uh, me personally, I wouldn't be throwing it around grass. We pretty much have a clean bottom. I would use like a medium heavy. Two heavy cranking rods, so you know I want a medium heavy, two heavy power, moderate action rod, so it's got that softer action to it. I'm using the rod uh, pretty much to work the bait, so I'd want like a seven speed reel. And since I'm going for depth on this bait, I'd probably throw uh, anywhere from like 12 to 15 pound fluorocarbon on with that sinking line. So, pretty cool. Then we have the Swimming Grub by Catchco Company. I'm a big fan of grubs. Let's see here, we got a pack here which goes for $2.99. There it is there in the package. Like a pearl blue type color. Longer grub there. Good looking bait for sure. With that longer body, you could Texas rig that. Uh, thread that on a jig head. Use that as a spinnerbait or a chatterbait trailer, um, swim jig trailer. Me personally, I would probably just put that, I'm gonna say a spinnerbait trailer, or I would just thread that on like a new tech lures new jig and just swim it. Uh, either, either technique I would use like, um, probably like a medium heavy with a moderate action to it. I got that, uh, it's a 6.9. Uh, TCS rod, it's APC, it's a, it's a multi-purpose rod or an all-purpose rod. It's got that softer action to it. It's, it's the bait I'd be reeling in. I want that little bit softer action. I'd probably throw uh, probably like a quarter ounce head or something like that to start. I'd probably throw like 10 to 12 pound test fluorocarbon and like a six speed reel. Since it's the bait that I'm reeling in, you know, I tend to reel too fast, so I want that slower gear ratio reel. So. From there we go to the Lunker Craw by Lunker Hunt. So we got a full pack here. This goes for $5.49. Color is pumpkin. I think we've got these before. There it is there in the package. Pretty big bait there. Got a hook slot in it there if you guys can see that. Break those claws apart. I would probably just, you could put that like on a wobble head. You could drag that around on a football head as well. Uh, you could just Texas rig that, pitch and flip it around, you know, docks, grass and whatnot, things like that. Uh, I'd probably use, let's say like a seven foot medium heavy rod, faster action. I'd go uh, 15 pound fluorocarbon and either six or seven speed, probably like a six three. Uh, like I said, seven speed works just fine. Like I said, just pitch that around, you know, lay downs, brush, grass, docks, things like that. Like I said, Texas rig it or I had to drag it on a jig. And from there we have Offset Wide Gap Bleeding Bait Hook by Daiichi. Okay, Offset Wide Gap, looks like a three pack. There they are there in the package there. This goes for $1.98. And this style hook I would use like uh, for my worms and things like that. Just a thinner profile bait. It's just a good worm hook. That's what I would use it for. I'm going to Texas rig like a, a ribbon tail worm or a plasma tail. You know, something like that. Something that has a thinner profile. I would not use it for this, this big craw here. You know, I'd want a bigger gap for this, 
this bait here. So this is what I would use for like a worm. We got a new sticker. It's pretty cool. A little swim bait sticker there. Then we got the Dibble Digest, and we have well, that's the uh, swim bot. That's what that is there. That sticker. Also, you can follow them on Snapchat at Mr. Tackle Box. <clears throat> there it is there. And we got the Dibble Digest. Why do fish jump? Three secrets to cranking laydowns. Bridge fishing, three places square bills dominate the bite. So, always some good info here. In the Dibble Digest, we got contest, MTB slams. Check that out. Remember, guys, you can get your um, 13 fishing reels through MTB as well. I believe they also carry uh, Dobbins rods as well now. So, pretty cool box, guys. That double plopper, though, I was really, really happy to see that. Pretty cool. If you guys would like to check out an MTB box, head over to the site, check them out. I always leave the link down in the description. You can also check out the new swag, which is pretty cool as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll talk to you soon.